Welcome to Phone Number Login with Parse. I'm Fosco Morado, one of the developer advocates here on the Parse team at Facebook. Today we're going to talk about what Phone Number Login is, how we do it, and how you can add the same functionality to your apps. It's a growing use case that many modern apps, they just want to get users into the system with as little friction as possible. And they want those users to be validated in some way that people aren't just creating a bunch of spam accounts. Phone number login kind of covers all of these bases. Users don't have to remember any usernames or passwords, they just type in their phone number. You get validation because the user has to type in a confirmation code which they receive at that phone number. It's a very fast, secure, and incredibly affordable way to grow your user base in a very low friction fashion. So how does that process actually work? Users type in their phone number and hit continue. They receive a text message with a login code or verification code. They type that in, they press continue, and they're logged in. It's that simple. To show you a full implementation of this, we built AnyPhone, an example open source application that does all of this and a little bit more. The structure of this is that we store our users and any other data that we have on Parse Core. Our application logic, which validates the numbers and sends the text messages, is all done in cloud code on Parse. And we use the third party provider Twilio to send our text messages. So how this works is once the user submits their phone number in any phone, we take that number out of the text field and we call a parse cloud code function called send code, which is defined in our cloud code file that we've deployed to parse. And in this function, we'll query for the user to find out if this phone number has logged in before. Uh, if they have, we'll reuse that account. Otherwise, we'll create a new user for this phone number. And then we'll use Twilio to actually send out a text message with the verification code. After receiving the verification code, the user types it in and hits continue. We'll take now both the phone number and the code and call another cloud code function uh, to validate it and become that user. In our cloud code function, we'll do some basic validation on the inputs, and then we'll query for the user, try and log them in using that code as part of their password. And if that's successful, then we will return a session token, which the client can then use to become that user. And that's essentially it. At this point, you have users built into your system, and now you can start associating other data with them and having them share or post uh, public or private content, uh, whatever your app entails. Uh, when you use Parse, you have access to our entire database product, and you can use any of the platforms that we support. Um, any phone is available on GitHub. It currently has an iOS app written in Swift, and it has a web interface, which you can also uh, host on Parse, and you can log into the website using your phone number. Uh, an Android version is in the works, and we're open to any community uh, contributions. Thanks for watching, and happy building.